straight out of Narawahia, New Zealand. Here's Mario. Hello, Mario Vlogs number 422. Contrast. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, today has been a day of contrast. You'll see what I mean. Let's have a look at the snippets. Look at this. What a great day we have in the Waikato today. There's a few clouds in the sky, but they're keeping the heat in. Bit of sunshine. It's warm. There's no wind. It's just a wonderful day to be out surveying. Nice. Just the right temperature. You need to keep your, you know, keep a few layers on, but generally it's it's pretty good. Things seem to have dried out a little bit, although there is some sodden bits of ground and what have you that are best avoided. There's the where they put all the uh, grass clippings, the stockpile, and there's the GPS base station there, feeding it out of the back of the big horn. The rav's in for the six monthly warrant of fitness there's my students there and contrast or in the background of with the base station in the foreground oh it doesn't get any better than this yeah g'day another great day in the field look at that cracking day beautiful just standing here in the sun oh marvelous so I've just uh, got into work all right and just uh, set up the GPS. Got a few students out there uh, doing a few uh, shots, done a site calibration, uh, measuring to a few marks, and then we're going to do a, a little bit of topo. And that's us, us, last day of term. It's exams next week. Oh, and wonderful weather. I wonder what the weekend's going to bring. Three hours later. It's hard to believe that the beautiful day that was so much earlier this morning has turned into this. It's just raining and not intense rain, but just persistent raining and continuous all over the Wintec campus here. So, and here's out the back in the same area, you can see the stockpile just through the trees there and uh, the rain and the the gray everything's crowded in who would have thought it yeah well just on five o'clock and uh heading home the weather's closed in street lights are on um yeah hard to believe that it was sun was shining and i was basking in great sunshine earlier in the day the um yeah it's just unbelievable but well fairly typical but unbelievable um yes all good well the term has ended and the exams begin <laughs> yes a time of contrast in many different ways as I go from the busy hub hub of day to day teaching to uh, no students, a little bit of exam carry on, and then a three week break as we prepare for the next semester. So, contrasting times in many different ways. So, let's have a look at the diary. Um, in my haste yesterday, I didn't actually go through the diary, but uh, there's been no lord mowing due to the bad back and the, uh, the piss poor weather, basically. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're going to have a bit of a question today. And uh, where, what, who, a new one today. Um, and it's not a, a who, it's a where. So it's, it's a where. So let's uh, turn on the caps lock and fix that up right now. Where there. And uh, let's just save it before we forget. Um, yes, and I'm going to do a bit of a shout out. It's a bit of a funny one, this one. Um, and Web Crap of the Week coming later. Your sort of entertainment Web Crap of the Week coming later and after this. 
six hours of teaching today, although it was uh, pretty low key. And uh, yeah, classes end. So, hmm, yeehaw. All right, so, um, oh, let's go to the, uh, and I've, I've put the shout out somewhere and I've, I can't uh, find it any, uh, well, here it is here. Here's the shout out here. So my shout out today was to uh, the guy that used to live next door to me uh, when I was growing up in Titahi Bay. Stephen Ashford, or Fatty Ash, as they used to call him, and uh, for some reason, I every I always remember his birthday, the fifteenth of June, um, Stephen Ashford's birthday. I, I remembered it all my life for sixty-four years. I haven't seen uh, Stephen or since I was maybe seventeen or eighteen, so uh, probably a good forty or fifty years since I last seen him, but. I always remember his birthday. And um, funny, the reason why I remember his birthday, I think, is because he told me that at, at his birthday was in the middle of June. And June is in the middle of the year. And that, that was his, you know, middle of the year was his birthday. But, of course, um, the middle of the year is the end of June, not the beginning of June. Well, not the middle of June, because <laughs> there's 12 months. So... I don't know why, but anyway, um, if you're watching this, Steve, which I very much doubt, happy birthday. I think you'll be 65, so um, yeah, you'll be getting your gold card if you uh, if you do happen to watch this. If anyone knows um, Stephen, uh, Stephen Ashford, uh, yeah, he's, um, he's he used to be a plumber from Titae Bay. Um, and everyone, yeah, through, through Scouts, I think they used to call him Fatty Ash. <laughs> and, uh, oh, we had lots of little adventures together as uh, young fellas when we were living next door to each other. Lots of little <laughs> adventures and, and misadventures as well. So, uh, yeah, so that's my uh, shout out for the day. And uh, let's go to today's challenge. And uh, today's challenge is um, this guy here. Who is this guy? And he uh, um, wrote a very famous book about, uh, well, some contrasting characters. Characters that are, to this day, part of the English language. And this guy is quite, uh, quite well known, uh, obviously uh, dead uh, now. But, um, yeah, from the... Um, Perhaps early 1900s. I'm not quite sure of his exact uh, um, when he was born and when he died, but he certainly um, his 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 book that he wrote and the characters, the contrasting characters, uh, are a part of our language today. So uh, who is this guy here? And uh, to the Hall of Fame yesterday again another question: uh, Who is this guy? And this is Richard O'Brien. And uh, he is the author, I believe, of the Rocky Horror Picture th Show, and uh, which, um, well, certainly involved in the writing and production of it, and actually starred in it as uh, Riff Raff. And, uh, of course, the famous Let's Do the Time Warp Again um, relates to the topic of the day um, yesterday, which was warp. Um, so... Yeah, Richard O'Brien, and WT got that, but he was 1 minute 32 seconds ahead of Moz, so uh, very close finish there, almost a photo finish um, to get in there with Richard O'Brien. So uh, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it for the day, so uh, contrast, contrast in weather, contrast in the challenge, Contrast in the times as I go from the busy hub hub of daily student teaching through to the um, to what we call the, the exams and the break. It's still busy, but in a different kind of way and um, sort of more measured and uh, relaxed. So looking forward to that. I think I've booked in a couple of days leave, so I'll um, find some other work to do on those days. And uh, yeah, all good. So... Um, Thanks, everyone, for watching, for liking, subscribing, commenting, answering the questions, 
generally having me uh, in your um, in your face as uh, watching my videos. So thank you very much. All good. Cheers. See you. And smash that like button. Please.